For our first marketing funnel, let's create a lead magnet funnel. When you first log into Zemlr and you click Marketing Funnels, it'll bring you to the Funnels page. And you'll see here I haven't created any funnels at all yet. So let's come down here to the blue button and I'll click that. And you are taken to this page where we are faced with two types of funnels. Lead magnet funnels, video series funnels. Zenla will be providing many more funnel types in the days to come. But given we're creating our first funnel as a lead magnet, let's select that. Scroll down the page, click next. Now we have three steps in creating the funnel. We've already selected the funnel type. Now we need to add some details. The name of the funnel, let's call our first funnel, my first funnel, very creative. And I'm going to pick a freebie download. So let me add a file from my desktop. In my Zendler folder, I've got a single page lead magnet, which I think will be very attractive to people. I will open that and that causes it to be uploaded into the database for my account. And then I have the final step of selecting, if I wish, a product that is a course to be launched at the end of the sequence. Uh, if you have published courses, they will appear in this drop down menu and then you can select them if you wish. I only have one published course. So I'm, for the time being, just going to stick to none. I don't wish to go to any course at the end of the funnel. And then I'll finish this process by clicking next. And at the final third step, we're faced with the choice of one of seven different themes for the lead magnet funnel. So if you wish to pick any one of these themes, you just highlight it and the little blue border comes around your selection and you would click finish to select that. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on the classic theme, which is the most basic, and we'll highlight that and we'll click finish. And Zendler then generates this very good looking representation of the funnel from top to bottom. You see this funnel has two pages, the opt-in page or the squeeze page, then the thank you page. There's a little thumbnail in here to show you what it looks like. And if you wanted to add a step before the, the very first step here, you would do add step or add step at the very end. And if you wish to rearrange the order of these pages, you can just go over to the three dots and that's there for you to drag to sort the sequence of the pages. But we're just going to stick with the very most classic version of the funnel and we're going to look now at how it operates. To do that, we'll do some discovery learning by clicking the preview button. And you see we're taken to this page that shows us a very simple landing page, the squeeze page to squeeze the first name and the email in response to them wanting to download the free report. And let's add someone in here. Let's uh, use the word test because we're just looking at the basic functionality of everything. We'll just use some dummy names and dummy email addresses for the time being. And once the user has put in all their information, they can now click the download button. And that takes them to the thank you page. Again, something very simple that we can modify to our heart's delight later on. And when they press the download cheat sheet button, they're taken to the download cheat sheet. And the user then can look at this download cheat sheet if they wish in their browser, or if they wish, they can certainly download the document to their hard drive by pressing the download button in the top right corner.